You're learning more about a Forest Hill school worker who was arrested on federal child pornography charges earlier this week. New States' Megan Bunchman is in studio tonight with the latest about what we know. Megan? Brian Sue, good evening. Even before 28-year-old Dreadley Arkenstein was arrested this week, a parent from Forest Hills Public Schools was questioning his behavior with students. Call it a mother's intuition or just plain old trusting your gut. But even before a Forest Hills public school worker was arrested this week, one parent knew something wasn't right. In text messages shared to News 8 by a school mom who doesn't want to be identified, she is seen raising concern to another parent who volunteers at the school about 28-year-old Bradley Arkenstein, saying, quote, he gives me the ick at NT or Northern Trails and her child talks about him nonstop. The parent asked her friend to keep an eye on Arkenstein after the cleaner quote described his girlfriend to his daughter and added quote she's the only student's name he remembers. Arkenstein was arrested Tuesday at his family home near Rockford after undercover FBI agents learned he possessed and obtained child pornography. Court documents obtained by News 8 show that Arkenstein told the undercover agent that he quote worked as a custodian for a school district during a conversation in the messaging app Kick. He now faces federal child pornography charges. In a letter sent home to parents Wednesday, Forest Hills Public Schools said that, quote, no Forest Hills students were affected. However, out of abundance of caution, the district said it has, quote, contracted with an external security company to conduct additional building searches for any non-district issue technology devices. Our mom confirmed in News 8 that Arcus Stein had been cleaning at both Collins Elementary and Northern Trails prior to his arrest. The school has placed him on administrative leave pending the investigation. And our mom, whose, quote, spidey senses were on alert, wants to remind parents and kids alike this week that if you feel something or someone is off, say something.